Hello people, I am Bharat Acharya. Welcome to our new video. So in today's video, we are going to learn how to generate a square wave using 8255's BSR command. We are going to be writing this program with respect to 8085 microprocessor. Now, before we start learning all this, first thing you must know what is BSR command. We have done a whole video for it. BSR stands for Bit Set Reset. It is a command by which we can set or reset individual bits of port C. So you can make any bit 1 or 0. Now that 1 or 0 is exactly what we need. When people think of square wave program, they think it's going to be something really crazy. It is so simple. What is a square wave? If, if you connect a line of A255, let's say port C, PC3 line, connected on a display device like a CRO, you send data to it. Based on your data, it's going to plot a graph. Now to generate a square wave on this line, you first send a 0, then you send a 1, then again you send a 0, then you send a 1. That means you go on sending 0, 1 and put it in a loop. What kind of loop? Finite loop or infinite loop? Infinite loop because you want a continuous square wave. Of course, they can change the question. They can say write a program to generate a square wave of 100 pulses. Then you will be putting it in a loop with a count of 100. I am sure you know all of that. You have done basic programming before you see something like this. So if you know all of that, it is pretty simple. Look here. Now, first things first, you want to understand how to form the BSR command to send a 0, send a 1. Once you form the command, those command values will be put in A register. You will be using out instruction at the correct address of the control word. If these things don't make sense to you, that's because you've not learned the architecture of 8255. This is an advanced topic. You first learn the architecture. Again, we've done a whole video on the architecture. So you first learn the architecture, you know what are the addresses of 8255. 80 is the address of port A. If 8255 is at an address like 80, 80 will be the address of port A, 81 will be of port B, 82 is of port C and 83 is of the control word. So you send these commands to the control word one by one. The catch over here is just sending 1010 is not going to work. That is going to give you an output like this. Of course, much faster than this. This is a human head. What you want is a delay after a 0, again a delay after a 1. By putting these delays, you get a square wave. If you put the same delay, you will get an exact square wave. If you put different delays, you will get rectangular wave. You may put a delay after 0 and no delay after 1 then you will get spikes, those are called positive spikes. You may put a delay after 1, no delay after 0, then you get negative spikes. So they are all modifications of the same program, of course I am going to be teaching you all that. So your main program will be very simple, the main part, the actual catch in this program is how to produce the delay. This is going to be a delay program. Now just writing a delay program is not going to give you marks. You will get <laughs> marks for attempting it, so probably 2-3 marks out of 10. You want full marks? you need to calculate your delay. Now people think this calculation is crazy. It is not. In the whole video, I am going to prove it to you. You can do this entire calculation even without a calculator. Yes, it involves powers of 10 and blah, blah, blah. But if you are pretty decent over here, you don't have to be a genius. Even if you are pretty decent, you can do all of it without a calculator. I am going to show you how to do it and you get the appropriate count. Now once you come to know what is the count for a square wave, if I ask you to make a rectangular wave, you don't even need to do the whole calculation again. With just a simple uh, analysis in your mind, you can understand what will be the count for a rectangular wave or for a spike waveform, etc. So that's what's going to happen in this program. Now you know what I've been doing. These are introductory videos. You want to watch the whole video, you come to my website. That's bharatacharyaeducation.com. The link will be given down below. Not just this video. This video is a part of the 8085 channel. In the 8085 channel, there are about 34, 35 videos covering all the topics, the entire theory, the whole architecture, flag register, addressing modes, the full instruction set in complete detail, many, many programs, interrupts, SIM and RIM instruction, all of the interfacing and the final memory designing. So all of that is packaged in that 8085 channel. So people who are learning 8085, maybe engineering students, BSc students, MSc students, even people preparing for gate exam, 8085 is one of the main processors for that. So anyway, whatever you need for all these exams is there in that channel, take a look at it. So come to my website, select the 8085 channel. Of course, it's a paid website. Uh, there is a payment for this because this is not my hobby. This is professional service. We've been uh, working day in, day in, day out, morning, night, evening, all the time, making videos, editing, uploading, shooting, hosting, streaming them. So all of that involves a lot of cost. But anyway, I've kept the cost very low. I've kept it as low as possible, much lower than what we charge in the classroom. So it's 999 rupees. Uh, as of now, the cost has been increasing as our own uh, efforts have been increasing. Uh, so it, it's due for a raise again, probably in a couple of months. But 
and as of now it's 999 you make the payment on the website using a normal payment gateway which is there on the website itself the same kind of gateways that you see in all other commercial websites cc avenue one of india's biggest anyway so uh, you use paytm debit card credit card net banking everything works the moment you make the payment instantly the site opens up for you and then you can watch all the videos for the next six months you can watch them as many times as you want not just the videos along with every video you get a pdf which is basically the theory of that topic so uh, you not only understand the concept from the video you also get the answer that you're supposed to write in the exam because understanding is one thing and writing the answer is something else altogether you should know what to write anyway so hope to see you there whether you come there or not enjoy learning this subject it's a very very interesting subject it's a subject that shapes you as an engineer enjoy learning it wish you all the best do well